Hello everyone and welcome back to the third and final part of this tutorial on how to make uh, wooden planks in Blender. In this part we're just going to go ahead and um, finish up uh, getting the textures ready and then taking them back into Blender and applying them to our mesh. So, the first thing we want to do is we also want to create a bump map and a specular map for this. So, let's go ahead and do that. First of all, what we want to do is go, you can just keep, have that wooden planks PNG that we created last time, and select it, go to colors, and do desaturate, and my lightness is good enough. And let's go ahead and go to colors, do the levels, kind of mess with this a little bit. That looks about. That looks about good. Okay. Then file save a copy. Let's call it wooden planks bump. I already have them saved here. Place that. And now to make the specular map, let's go ahead and hit colors and do invert. And colors, bring up the levels again, and basically those places that are lighter will have more specularity, so let's go ahead and darken it up here, just leave those completely white. Okay. That looks about good. Let's go ahead and file, save as, when planks, spec. Save that. Okay. Now what we want to do is go into Blender, and let's go back. First of all, let's clear out this image, go um, image, open, go to textures, and we want the wooden planks PNG. Open that up. Now let's go back to default, and if we change this to texture, tab out of it mode, you can see that it shows the texture there. Now, let's go ahead and go to the material rename this material as uh, plank turn the specularity off go to the texture panel create a new texture let's call this um, col for color change the type to an image or movie open textures and we want to get wooden planks png open that up change the mapping to uv we color checked and let's go ahead and check the normal and just make it real real small like a 0.4 or so that'll give it just a little bit of bump change the bump mapping to best quality and then let's go ahead and create a new texture call this one bump change it to image or movie open textures and planks bump change this one to UV as well, uncheck color, check the normal, and let's make it about a 0 .4, 0 .429, that's good enough, change the quality again to best quality, and let's add one more texture and call this one uh, spec, yeah, image or movie, open it up, textures, wooden plank spec, change the mapping to UV, uncheck color, and check intensity under specular check intensity and then we want to also click um, we want to do RGB to intensity and let's go ahead and turn the intensity down just a little bit well 
0.2 and that should be just about good so there's all our texturing got all the texture set up so let's go ahead and kind of fix up this texture a little bit you can kind of see that if we uh, look at this here real quick just a second let me turn on my key status here okay you can see you can kind of see that seam right there pretty pretty blatantly so let's go ahead and fix that and as well you can see it on the bottom so let's go ahead and fix that with uh, Blender's cloning tools. So just switch over to uh, Texture Paint. Hit T to open up the toolbar. And the brush we want to select the clone. Let's make its radius a little bit smaller, like a 15. That should be good. Let's make it multiply. Let's go ahead and give it a texture that way. Uh, let's call this brush. That way the cloning won't be too noticeable. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and just leave it at that. Hit F to uh, be able to change the opacity of your brush and the size of your brush. One about there. That should be good. And then let's also go down here. I think that's just about it. Yep. Kind of change. Maybe change the curve just a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and do sharp. See how that works. Now, for some reason, our radius is really big again. Let's go ahead and change that back down to about 20, 26 is okay. And just go ahead and start painting. Okay. So, one other thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and split the screen, open up the UV image editor, and open up wooden planks PNG so so you can see it and click this uh, icon right there and as you can see we could just go ahead and paint right along in here but let's go ahead and do it on the 3d model and the way that it works is wherever the 3d cursor is that's where blender will clone so, what you do is just place the 3D cursor where you want it to clone from. And to do that, you hold down control and left click. That places the cursor. And you can just go ahead and... Actually, undo that. We actually don't want it to be on multiply. We want it to be on mix. As you can see there, you just clone straight down like that. Go ahead and select in there. right in there let's go ahead and change their brush size select right here kind of paint a little bit right in there and right along here change the brush locate or the clone location And just basically clone it just so that you can't see that seam. It's, so it's not so sharp. It kind of blends in there. In there. Let's go ahead and just clone that in there. There the moment. It's a little bit jerky. Let me go ahead and change my power options to uh, high performance. See if that kind of speeds it up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. 
change our radius back down. Select in there, just kind of clone across here. Just so it isn't too. Now we're done there. Let's go to the other end, fix this up real quick. Select in here. Clone along in there. Look right there. Clone along that edge there. Clone right along this edge right there. Cursor a little bit. Look right in there. Just about done. So there we go. So now, to save this, we want to go ahead and go image and um, say save image. And that will save it to that texture, that wooden planks PNG. Save that cloning that we just did to that. So now, we're basically done with all the texturing. So let's go ahead and set up a just set up a simple scene right now. So what we're going to do is go back into object mode and let's go to the top view shift D to duplicate it, let's rotate it go shift D again, rotate it just kinda of make some planks right in there go to front view Rotate this, tab in edit mode, rotate all the way around just so the texture is different. Now, if you're going to do this to look the best, you'd probably want to texture another board again just so it doesn't look, didn't look too much the same. But for this, I'll just go ahead and rotate these around a little bit, give it about the same effect. And okay. So now let's go ahead and just grab this into Z. Make this the one that's sitting on top. Grab it into this into Z. Set this on top. Grab that into Z, set that on top. Let's go ahead. Grab this one this way, make its median point right there at the edge of that board. Grab this one. Make its median point right at the edge of that board. Just makes it a little bit easier to rotate it. Make it look good. So now if we rotate this, first of all, get in the right. View. Now, if you rotate it, just rotate that end down until it just about touches the ground. Same with this one, let's rotate it down until it touches the ground. Let's go ahead and move our camera around a little bit. Shift C to move the 3D cursor back to the middle. Let's go Shift A, add a mesh, a plane, scale this up, and this will be the floor. We'll scale it up so that you can't see uh, the world background under the plane there. Let's go to the material settings, add a new material. Let's call this one ground. And turn the specularity off. Let's go ahead and just change this color just a little bit. And 
that should be it. So let's go ahead and change this to HD 720p. Also, let's go to the world settings. Turn on ambient occlusion. Turn this down to about a point. Uh, 7. Change that to multiply. Turn on environment lighting. And we'll just leave it at white. And so now, let's go ahead and give it a quick render. First of all, let's save it. Let's go ahead and save that. And let's give it a render. So there we go. So the last thing we're going to do in this tutorial is just do a quick vignette. So hit control, left arrow to go into the compositor. Select use nodes and backdrop. Let's go ahead and drag these apart. Shift A, let's add an output viewer. And shift A. First thing we want to add is a lens distortion. And just drop it in there. Turn the distort up to 1, add a converter math node, let's go ahead and change that to greater than, add a filter, a blur node, change that to fast Gaussian, relative, 20%, 20%, plug that into the image, change this value down to a 0, Shift A and add a color mix node. Drop this in. I think I believe it's there. Bring in the original image. And actually we want to flip that around there. Make it multiply. And now if you can see, you can zoom in and out by hitting V and I think it's control V, alt V, I think, yeah, okay, so V to zoom out and alt V to zoom in on that backdrop preview, and as you can see, if we change this back value, the vignette gets bigger, so let's go ahead with like 0.7, that looks pretty good, so now, there we have it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, I hope you learned something, and that it was useful to you. If you have any uh, comments, questions, tutorial suggestions, please leave a comment below or uh, just send me a message there on YouTube and I will get back to you and we'll create a tutorial. Uh, thank you very much and I'll see you next time.